Okay, Mukama Omulunji was the way. Praise the Lord Jesus. To my knees and you not take Mukutu Wafe. Welcome you once again. Mwe is our faith. Welcome you in our ministry, New Eden. Mukama Watu a doctor, Musam. That the Lord has given us to serve. We're in a little New Eden Center Park Ministries International. The name is called the New Eden Center Park Ministries International. We're at Vasava. And we request you. To desire to know more about this new era word. So that you'll be able to differentiate or to understand the, 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 the right word for new Eden because there are several other ministries having the same name. As my name is called the Muanguzi Jubili, there are other people called Muangu. But the, 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 the names have some difference. Our name is New Eden Center Park Ministries International. When you go to YouTube or Facebook, you will be able to differentiate. There are those names that are other ministries with new Eden names. This is the only ministry that is teaching the, the word for the new era and the last generation. Please don't be confused. Let's thank God. Our Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you once again for this day. We have started again afresh to teach in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we commit the entire program and that you may use us as a microphone to take this message to the whole world that you may understand it because the, the scripture says that when we know the truth, the truth shall set us free. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are praying. Amen. 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 My dear friends, we are learning about the, the different ways God speaks to us. The different ways. The different ways. The different ways. Today we are on the point we are going to, to tackle three points, number seven, number eight, and number nine. In the mighty name of Jesus. The seven way that God speaks to us that God can use your very tongue and speaks to you. You can speak words God using your tongue and he's speaking in you. And those words are speaking to your life. Let's go to the scriptures. Let's open 2 Samuel, chapter 23, from verse, from verse 2 to 4. Let's read 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 from verse 2 to 4. Mutaka. Ulokuaka no kutangalija o kwenkuba ngekede. Second Samuel twenty-three verse two. The spirit of the Lord spake by me, and his word and his word was in my tongue. The God of Israel said, The rock of Israel spake to me. He that ruleth over men must be just, ruling in the fear of God. And he shall be as the light of the morning. When the sun rises, even a morning without clouds, as the tender grass springing out of the earth by clear shining after rain. Praise Jesus. This was King David. God spoke through him. The words that he spoke as he declared them. He understood that the Spirit of the Lord was speaking through him. And he was also there. 
he was like speaking to himself. That's why it says that the, it says that the spirit of God spoke within me. He was speaking out the word. But he was also learning. He was learning that when someone judges people in a righteous way, he is like a son. That it brings people to be attracted to him. People will be desiring him. If only that can learn from this one. And they start ruling or in the fear of, of, of God, people will not hate them. But what makes people to hate the leaders is because they are not ruling in righteousness, yet God is one who sent them to be leaders. It is saying that you listening to me, your leader of a nation, or wherever you are as a leader or an organization, you must repent and return to Jesus Christ. And you start serving or ruling in the fear of God. People will desire you just like they desire but you leader who is listening and watching and people have hated you begin to check yourself check yourself and repent you may be in an organization or maybe an LCM maybe a president uh, 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 leader of a nation in any nation where you come because when the last era you are 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 the last era but we have learned that God can speak through you and it's like you are speaking to yourself. There may be things challenging you. And you yourself, you speak out. And you say, I have already overcome. It means that God himself is speaking through your mouth, though you are being challenged. Take yeah. that very word and be strengthened in it and be established. Because that word has been spoken and it is speaking through you, but speaking to you. It means that God has been singing in your heart as you are crying inside. And he has used your very person to speak to you. Be encouraged. Begin to encourage yourself. Let's go to Psalms. To Psalms 22, 32 from verse 1 to 8. Awele do mkisa asonyi duwe chono neche ne Awedo mukisa mukama guata bali abutali butu chini. No mumu yuko temuli bokuusa. Bwana sidi ka amakumba kanga kaka diwanga. Rokuka ba kwangu budo kuziba. Wangu msa nechiro mukono bokuanza tuwe ranga. Amazi kanga nika kadi ranga romsa na ugwe ugwe cheya. Nenyo kuatule chivi changu no kutali butu chivu wangu nesi ukweka. No yuko nanti ai mukama na kuatule biyo no biyangu. Nenyo no sonyo kutali butu chivu wangu. Kurebiyo. Buliatia katonda akusabenga mubire biyo inzo kula bikiramu Mazo wa mutaba za mazi na manji Kibati kukaji ahali Walibuwe kweko wange Onungu mango kula wenaku Onetu uro zange njibe zoguro kozi Na haku igiri zanga Na haku langa kukubo liyono itangamu Na haku testi zange bigambo Elisu lia ingali kukwe Psalm 32 we are reading from verse 1 to 8 Blessed is Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven Whose sin is covered? Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputeth no iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile. When I kept silence, my bones waxed old, though through my roaring all the, lo all the day long. For day and night, the hand was heavy upon me, and my moisture is turned into the drought of summer. I acknowledge my sin unto you, and my iniquity have I not hid. I said, I will confess my transgression unto the Lord, and you forgive the iniquity of my sin. For this shall everyone that is godly pray unto you in a time when you have, when you must be found. Surely in the floods of great waters they shall not come near unto him. 
You at my hiding place, you shall preserve me from trouble. You shall compass me about with the songs of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you in the way which you shall go. I will guide you with my eye. Praise the Lord. This was one person speaking. But they were like two people in him. He was speaking as him. And God was also talking through him. Verse 1. And verse 2. God himself was speaking. That, that blessed is, is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord imputeth no iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guilt. That was God himself speaking. Then later, himself as a man also replied. And he said, when I came silence, my bones would not fail. And he also said, I said, when I came silence, my bones would wax old though, through my roaring all the day long. Kubanga imisana echiro umukono wogu anzi toweri ranga, na maziga ange nega kari ranga uru musana ugweche ya. For day and night, your hand was heavy upon me, my moisture is turned into the drought of summer. This man was re re repeating, was speaking out himself because of the heavy situation upon him. God first of all told him that you are forgiven. When we go to verse 8, we see that God again also is replying. God said that I will instruct you and teach you in the way which you shall go. I will guide you with my eye. These words were within one person who was the one speaking. But when you, you take them from him, there are two people speaking in him. Himself he was talking. And God's God was also replying. He said, I will teach you. Because you have been working. I, I will instruct you. Because you are the one who has been working in my presence. And he went ahead to humble himself. And he walked in the way of the Lord. And he walked in the, in the teachings of God. And he walked in the protection of God. That's why we say that God has diverse ways he speaks to us. Why do we want to learn them? Because God is speaking every time he's talking to us. We should not be there exalting no, no, no. that this person died and went to heaven. He's the one who knows God. Oh, God. Oh, this one is a prophet. He's the one prophesying. Oh, this one is a pastor. Oh, he's an apostle like me. No, God can speak to people in different ways. And we are all we all come to understanding and we move forward. That's why he said that I'm going to speak to everyone with the flesh. You have been having that kind of thing. I'm wrapping it out of your mind. Please hear God by your own Let's understand what God is saying. So that you, you get to really understand what God is saying. Don't depend only on your person. Don't depend on the other person. The other one is the one praying for us. God can speak to you also in a special way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go to the eighth way God speaks to us. In the mighty name of Jesus. We have gone to the eighth way. We want to learn it also. As God is speaking to us in that way. Let's go to the eighth way. 
this way, this kind of the way talks to us is says that the conviction inside your heart. That conviction that you feel inside your heart. That conviction weighs in any other where the God speaks to us. When God, when someone speaks to you something. This conviction will help you. When it is talking about sin, the God will also convict you inside you. And He will say, You are the one to that. You are the one to repent of yes, it. Praise Jesus. That's why you see some people when they are teaching us about uh, turning away from sin, we just say, ah, That one just came to talk about it. They told him about it. No, it's because God already knows. Who you are. God is convicting you when people are talking. When you have the spirit of the Lord inside you, you begin to humble yourself yourself and you start to change. But when the devil is reigning in you, you just start quarreling. Whenever you feel that you are hardening your heart whenever they talk about standing from sin, you should know that you are a child of the devil. That is why your heart, your heart is being hardened whenever you talk about sin. But if you want to be a child of God, you have to Come down, come down, and you say, This one has gone. Come and say, Let the Lord forgive and you. And, the, and even if it is something good, they talk about it. Even the Spirit of the Lord, even if someone is deceiving you, the Spirit of the Lord will convict you and say, No, what they are saying is wrong. Yes, so many of us. Praise the Lord Jesus. Let's open Jeremiah. Chapter 31, we are reading from 31 to 34. We are on the conviction inside you, the conviction of the Holy Spirit. Let me not use your way, you get a mukama. Rendi the gun in the gun in Pian and you buy a you say in the new by Uda. Sing in the gun of General Gan never get Jamakuna for another quarter of Mokono, Cocova Jamusi and Missy. In the gun and never Jimmy and Uncle Badang and Limba was Caesar, why you get a mukama. Na yenda gano jendida gana ye nyumba ya isa ya rubanyuma Wena kwezo wa yugira mukama Lite kama teka gana mwitundu vya awe munda Mitima jawe Ndika wandi ika Nange nabanga katonda wawe Na uba nabanga bantu bange Elanga wali munda Touch a egg is a moon name. Nobody moon to Muganda, Nabo get at my Yamukama, Kubanga, but in my Yamukama, Kubakumoto to Kakumukuru, while you get a Mukama, Kubanga, and this one will tell you what you were when she became a seed to Kiran, see you Kiran at it. We are reading Jeremiah thirty one from verse thirty one. Behold, the days come, says the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt. With my covenant, they, they break. Although it was, I was as a husband unto them, says the Lord. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, says the Lord, I will put my law in their inward parts and write in their, in their hearts. I will be their God and they shall be my people. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor, but every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me from the least of them unto the greatest of them, says the Lord, for I will forgive their iniquity. And I will remember their sin no more. Praise the Lord. Though the Lord was speaking to Israel, he was speaking to all the people that in these last days, 
agenda kubanga awandika mitima gyabuli muntu that he is going to be writing in the heart of everyone bango nakuruli walinga wo moyonga abera mu banabiye ka because those days the spirit of the lord used only to dwell in the prophets nayo muntu nawo bato li mulokole but even though someone you are not born again wabo byomanyi mu mutima gwo there are things you know in your heart that you chibin chikola that this is evil it is sin and i'm doing chitegeza chire mutima gwo cha wandikibwa it means that it is written in your Tuvola ba mtu agenda musaba agenda yuko akukuta chiro ni wapa mukulembeze. That's why someone who goes to a witch doctor to shred goes in the night hiding even if he is a even if he is a backslidden person or any other person. Because he knows that what he's doing is wrong. Praise God. We also used to be in such things. We also used to be in such things. We also used to be in such things. The people could speak and they say, and you also know that hey, this thing I'm doing is wrong. Because it is convicting you. Because he says, I'm going to write within your heart. It, it means that your heart speaks. That's why when someone is evil, when you meet an evil person, your heart will, will, will you feel it in your heart, you feel some shaking when someone is coming to borrow from you and has a problem or will not pay you there is somehow you feel it in your heart and when you give that person the money and does not return the money god will tell you that i spoke to you when you are with someone who is good, there is a way your heart rejoices because you, are, you, you, you flow with that person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Even if when you enter a wrong church, there is a way you feel shaken in your heart. Someone cannot feel peace even when sitting in that church because the spirit the Lord is not in that place. But where the, the person feels peace when the Spirit of the Lord is yeah, there, you feel that there is a difference. And even the one who likes evil things, like things of uh, going into things like maybe this causes such things. You, the, the heart of that person will rejoice there because that is what the person likes, the evil things. But when you talk to that person about godly things, his heart will be fighting the words you are saying because the Lord is speaking to him that what you are doing is evil. I don't know what you are thinking and your heart what the artist is telling you, the one listening to me, what you have been doing, I know the heart is talking to you now. The heart is telling you, are you hearing the people preaching? If you are to change, please, today repent and change. Praise the Lord Jesus. Some people are fond of calling it something. That something is convicting me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It means that when you feel that conviction telling you go to so and so no, and you go to that person what that person is telling you please be killing and take them properly because it is God initially who convicted you to go there or you go to someone who is sick don't just leave that person without helping that person if you are in position. Because it is God who directed you to go there. And you found the person. And the person needs help. Use what you have and help that person. Because God is the one who convicted you to go there. To, to see the situation the person is passing through. Yes, you have a Praise the Lord. Now, are you going to come out with this? You also that is there watching and being convicted by God. Please go to New Eden Center Park Ministries. Telling you go to the ministry and understand the last era word. Stop what you have been saying that my pastor has never told me. My pastor has never prophesied to me. 
for me. Our great pastor has never told us our, those things. Our, our, the leaders of, of, of born again has never shared The this. other one, the leader of the other religion has never told Please, us. Please, you pastor, the Lord has been convicting you to come to New Eden. Why has the Lord been convicting you to give the radio to, to be used? And that you are not accepting. Telling you to bring the money, telling you to, to giving you a radio, your TV, and to, you are not accepting. Understand today that the Lord is speaking <laughs> to you. When you refuse to do it, it is not on my side. It will be you to be judged. Because God has been convicting you, man of God, and you, woman. Yes, you Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When they talk about the era, the new era or the new generation, God keeps convicting you. The doors open, we are welcoming you. You may be a leader of a nation or, 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 or any other place. But you are a prophet. 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 You are a a You are a leader in any nation. You are a in a place. God is convicting you of those you words. Those words you had. Do not despise those Ate words. Tia. Don't fear. Because God forgives everyone and he will come to God. God is convicting you to come quickly and we do the work of God. There was one point in that press release that was calling upon Ugandans to come and we work together. When God speaks to you and you are convicted today, please rush in and come. I have told you you come and we do the work of God. When we go and read the book of Hebrews, when we read the book of Hebrews chapter chapter 8, 8 from 8 to 13, to, to 13 years. It says like this. Bwabane nyanga yugera nti labe naku zija bwa yugera mukama wende dagana endagana ntia munyumba ya Isa ene nyumba ya Yuda singe endagana jina lagana bajjajja mwe kuruna kuruli abakwa ta kumukono kubajja mu siye misiri banga bote banywerera mu ndagano yange nange ne baleka okuva okubalaba bwa yugera mukama kubange no yindagano jendira gana ni nyumba ya Isa ili oluva nyore naku ziri bagera mukama nite kama teka gange mmagezi gawe era mitima jawe ndi gawandika nange nabe langa katuna jebali Na wena vera bantu wange jendi. Songa wale mutacha yike liza mune. Na wale mutu mgana na wale niti manya mukama. Kuwanga wana wale manya mukama. Okupa kumutu okutu kwa kumukuru. Kuwanga nisa asira utali kutu uchiru wawe. Na hivi ya wasibi jukira nate. We are reading Hebrews chapter 8 from verse 8 to 13. For finding fault with them, he says, Behold, the days come, says the Lord, I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. Because they continued not in my covenant and they regarded them not, says the Lord. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will put my laws in their mind and write them in their hearts. I will be to them a God and they shall be to me a people. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know me from the least to the greatest. For I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and their iniquities I will remember no more. In that day, he says, a new covenant he has made, made the first. In that, in that, he says, a new covenant he has made the first. Old. Now that which delayeth 
and wax old is ready to vanish away. Mukama Munjebasi. Praise the Lord. Vanga Daganiti Ariazinga for Fena. Because the old covenant was encompassing all of us. She says, I indagano, it against our Colibana Vita is said in a year. That means it is a covenant that in, was inclusive of us and the physical Israel. He was not meaning the physical Israel. Because the, the new covenant came for everyone. Saying that Judah means leadership. And Israel means when we are all of us together. Because some people may get confused. This covenant is not just for Israel. It is for everyone because Jesus died for the whole world. Even in Israel, in heaven, the, the Israelites, they know are the born again. They are the ones heaven calls Israel and Judah. Praise the Lord. That means that it is important for even all the Israelites to accept the Lord Jesus Christ. To come and be born again and enter this new generation. That's where some people misinterpret it. Saying that the church will have gone and, the, and Israel will come to fight for their salvation. And Israel will no, it is that all of us, including the Israelites, we are all going to fight for salvation and cleanse ourselves and we struggle to clean ourselves in, in this last era so that we may have a, a glorious church. Praise the Lord. There is a part that I say that there will not be anyone teaching his neighbor. Let's make it, uh, elaborate on it more. Praise the Lord. They were not meaning that there is no one that will teach the other. The, because the Bible says that he gave some to be teachers and other ministers. It means that there is, there is teaching but they understand Understanding comes from within the person as the Holy Spirit helps that person. And uh, that thing that the person has perceived in understanding, it remains in the person's mind. As we are teaching the new era, the person understands it very well. Whatever that person sees, he will know that yes, this, this, this principle is the one that works on this issue. It is the one that works on the other hand to cleanse. Because there are some churches which have fallen away. They are teaching people that no one is supposed to teach the other. Teaching is vital. It is there. God teaches us as you read the Bible. Through the teachers. And the spirit of the Lord as he reveals to us. That means that as we understand them, they help us to be sent. That was the meaning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That that as you learn something, you get it and you it helps you. As we are teaching you the different ways God communicates to us, for us who have learned them and have understood them, someone can bring his who had learned and what I've been preaching is related to me. And yet, and also there's someone who also got a revelation. And maybe there's one who was reading the Bible and they were convicted of the same. People easily get to, to follow what he said because they understand what God is saying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. People will not be going searching, looking for prophets to prophesy. They will not be basing on looking for their pastors to tell them. Praise the Lord. That is how God speaks to us, convicting us within us in our hearts. Let's go to the book of Luke. 
Naye, Bari Jaru means Rechibi, no two chibi, no Roma Sango. Rechibi, what a banzi kizazi. Robo two chibu, bang and edit tangi. So now met the Muchandaba, Nati. Roma Sango, Kubang, Muku and Sasari Gum Sango. Charlie Navinja Yokuba Guria, Nayet, the means that could be coming Kizakano. Never I did your moment to Kuamazma, and Abba Lungamianga, Umazima Gona, Kuanga, Tayoga and Gabi Kuwe, maybe on Navia and Audianga, Yanaganga. Eya na wabu nange bige ndo kujia. Ero ya na gulu mizanze kubanga. Anato langa kubiange na baburira mwe. Tuko menga kulinyiwa kumina nya. Na yukana kumina mkaga. Nyoro mnana. It is John 18, 16 from verse 8. 8 to 11. And when he came, he will rip. And when he is come, he will reprove the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Of sin because they believe not on me. Of righteousness because they go to my father and you see me no more. Of judgment because the prince of this world is judged. I have yet many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. Uh, yes, Praise the Lord. Bible yet so The Bible promised us. Yes, when the, when Jesus was born, that, that he's going to send the Holy Spirit and the Spirit of the Lord came from the apostles. He was convicting of sin. The spirit of the Lord convicting of judgment and of righteousness. Those are very important points in the life of someone. Especially the person who got born again and loves God. Because the spirit of the Lord, whatever you understand, he will convict you. You and me. That that is It means that you are now in judgment. And you are going to hell. And of righteousness. You understand what to do. And to, how to repent. So that you can be transformed and become righteous. To you that are yet to be born again. I know the spirit of the Lord is convicting you. Some of you there who are killing people. The Lord is convicting you. You may be a soldier in the world. In any nation you are. Those people you are killing for nothing. God is convicting you. Because the Bible says that a leader does not hold their sword for nothing. They are also leaders. They are also servants of God. When leaders kill people when they are brought something wrong. God will not convict the leaders. Even, the, even the, the, the security personnel. When they find someone with a gun and wants to kill another people, people, or shooting people, when they shoot that person, that person now is, has become God an enemy. Bunana. God will not we will not blame them. But when they kill people for nothing, you may be a soldier in any nation. Whoever you kill for nothing, the sin is committed. It is sin before God, and that blood will fall on you. You will never have peace. Not only soldiers, Abamba, but the people who kill others because they want wealth. Killing people because of their own wealth, because of their land. Zimbe. Because they have buildings. Mirimu. Because of a job. Naba, abusika, Some people kill others because of inheritance. Whatever we do is convicting us. You pastor that you went to, to collect give up power. Bali, 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 and you are deceiving people. Today it is convicting you as you listen to me. You have been cheating people of their money. Today it is convicting you. are going on the altar. You, are, you try to destroy.
deceived because you don't have their truth to share. Today the spirit of the Lord is speaking to you. There is only one way and it is repentance and to be transformed. You have become a seller. You are selling Jesus for money. You just go and join religion. You say we are now in unity. Every time there is that conviction because you know it is convicting you and it was wrong. People, even people know you. Praise Jesus. Those people out there, they watch us. They see what we do. They watch us. They are following us as followers. They are asking themselves, which kind of Christians or born again are they? Praise the Lord. This is the time to repent and come back. You will not sleep because the spirit of the Lord has told you to convict you. Will take away your peace until you repent in this direction. In the mighty name. Oh, it is taking back people's things. Take them back. Give back money to the owners. If it is land, give them back their land. If it is wealth, you took, give it back. In the mighty name of Jesus. Some of you, you have made other people to be in prison for now. In the whole world, the spirit is convicting all of you. The spirit of God is convicting. He said that he is going to convict. He does not only convict people, but every person. You people who have aborted the spirit of God, God is convicting you. You who are making you who are using family planning, those that are making those family planning, God is convicting you. You have to repent. You see that even the Indians, God has convicted them. They have been trusting small gods. They have seen that those small gods are not. They have felt that they are convicted. No one has gone to preach to them. They decided that oh, it is them who throw away these small gods. Praise Jesus. That's why the Bible says that the Spirit of the Lord will come and convict us of sin convictors of judgment and of righteousness. We are in a very tough era, a very tough generation that is the last generation. Whatever convicts you, please rush and make a way to make it to, to clean it up. When you see that you have failed, you can come to us. The door is open, the way is open, we shall see how to help you. And you get to work you. So that the wrath of God is turned away from you. You repent and leave whatever you have been doing. And you clear your ways. That is what God wants of us. Let's start moving away from pride and self. Because the spirit of the Lord is convicting us. Everything moment you are convicted, the spirit of the Lord is convicting us. Praise the Lord. Let us take some time to get a little bit more. Praise the Lord. You has left or living your wife and get to another wife. God is convicting Hallelujah. you. Praise the Lord. Lord. And you cannot have peace. You are trying to cover up the sin, talking this and that. That is even when Adam sinned with his wife. They tried to cover up with the leaves. Leaves representing bringing words that you are, trying to, you, you are trying to cover up within cover up to people. But the truth remains that your wife is the other one. If you don't go and correct what you dealt, it doesn't matter the money you have, whether you are very rich or you have great honor. God is convicting you to begin to repent and be transformed. I release that anointing over you. I release that anointing over you. That anointing of no, conviction for people of sin, judgment, and righteousness. Uh, everyone listening to me, I pray God, God, do not allow them to sleep. Let them have no peace in their hearts. Let them not eat and have peace until they have repented. Until they are transformed in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise Jesus.
we are going on the point we are uh, the, the, the third point of today where the spirit of the Lord reminds you the spirit of the Lord reminding you, th reminding through you or re using someone to remind you. This is also a way God speaks to us. The spirit of the Lord reminds us as he's working within us or using someone else. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are reading John 14 verse 26. Mm -hmm. Na hiyo mwezo mwezo mtuku kuchitangi kwa hali tumamuli nyariye Kwa hali ba yiki zabiyo na hali ba yiki zabiyo na Jina baga mbima baga mba But uh, John 14.26 But the comforter which is the Holy Ghost Whom the Father will send in my name He will teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance Whatsoever I have said unto you Yes, Praise Jesus. Bible the Bible teaches us that when the Spirit of the Lord comes, and yet He has already come, He's here to teach us. He's here to remind us whatever the Lord is saying. Whenever God speaks to us, the Spirit of God can use your time to remind you. You are fellow servants can remind you. Your wife can remind you. You. Oh, the Spirit of the Lord can speak to you and remind you. That's why most times when they are preaching in church or anywhere as people are talking, you, there's a way you remember concerning that issue that they are talking or preaching about. Sometimes when you are with us who know how God speaks, when you tell me I've remembered, this thing was like like this, like this. There I will just help you and tell you, yes, God is now reminding you, speaking to you. God can remind you of a dream because a dreaming is also one way God speaks to us. Because the dream can come, God brings it in that particular time. So that you'll understand that he's the one who spoke then and Ale. he has come to remind you again. It means that when you're in church and they are preaching, that is one way God is speaking and they are preaching. And the second way, the Spirit of the Lord reminds and you. And the third one is a dream and you bring it out also. That is one way God is speaking and you are preaching. And the fourth one, they can also interpret the dream to you. How will you ever say that I never had God, how God speaks? We thank God for His grace. Because He has told us also in John that He had a lot to speak to us. And it is God who has uh, had mercy on us many uh, among so many things He has. He has given me grace to prepare a teaching that will help people. God helped me to prepare this teaching of uh, 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 how God speaks to us. God helped me to prepare this teaching of how God speaks to help people to know how he speaks to them. That's why I'm saying he can remind you through you as he speaks to you or maybe through someone near you. Don't take it as a minor issue. God has already spoken to you. When we read Joel chapter 2, 28, Nifukomoe wangu kubona bali no mubiri kale batabali bo ne balawo ne baka na baka de bali daba biro bamwe bali ro te biro to na balenze bamwe bali dabo ko lesewa era ne munna kwezo kuba to bangi ne kubaza na bangi nifukomoe wangu era ndi ole sebe kitalo muguru ne munsi omusayi no muliro ne mpaji no muka Joel chapter 2 verse 28 also says that and it shall come to pass afterward, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days, I will, will I pour out my spirit. 
I, and I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. Praise the Lord. Because the Bible is teaching us that in these last days, Yes, we have to it. When Jesus died for us, yes, in the he sent the Holy Spirit upon his servants, the born again, and every other person, wherever they are. People see visions and dreams. And you who have been there getting dreams. Mm -hmm. The first thing to do if you are a servant of God is to pass a repent. People bring to you dreams and say, I don't want dreams. There is a, an evil spirit that captured you. Repent and that spirit will leave you. Begin to, to, uh, to accept and dreams. And ask for the grace of God to help you interpret or people to come and help you interpret. So that you know that this dream is of the devil, this is of God. Because when you refuse dreams, and yet this is the authentic, the word of God has you said, have become and you are a false prophet. You are a false prophet. Yet you are, you are the one declaring that I'm fighting false prophets. You cannot fight false prophets. You just have to understand the truth. Because even the Bible said that the false prophets will be there. The right way to fight them is not to confront them. The right way is to pray to God to remove no, those evil spirits that have captured them and to show them the truth. Yes, 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 yes. Praise the Lord. You may say that you, uh, I'm fighting false prophets when you are the false prophets. Prophet. Do not refuse anything to yeah, do with the dreams what? in the church, maybe a vision. The voice spoke to someone. Yes, maybe someone says, I saw an angel. Yes, I read the scripture. Or maybe a prophecy. Or maybe a prophecy. Or a discerning spirit. What you have to pray to God for is the discerning spirit and the spirit to interpret the things. Or maybe you pray to God to raise someone who will interpret in the church. If you have been preaching and refusing all that in the church, whatever you have been preaching, first stop it. Humble yourself and start Accepting this revival once. Praise the Lord. Benin Yaragula. Pastor Benin prophesied that great revival is coming out of Uganda. <laughs> Though he spoke about it for 20 years. Some people think that the spirit will go powerful upon them, they shake. Or maybe they are shaking and are done in a strange it's way. It's not like that. You just have to learn and go back to the right way. Man of God or woman listening to me. Man of God or woman or you have been teaching and, uh, and uh, you have been a preacher in the so church. We are not against you. We are telling you that to, to repent. That please stop what you have been saying that I don't believe in dreams. I don't believe in prophets. I don't believe in visions. That's a person who has just got born and just supposed to how did God pass me to talk to you? Yes, yes, yes. Praise Jesus. God brings all these gifts to help the vision or the ministry to go forward. One listening to me, if you don't repent, God is going to move away from you. God is going to move away and raise the seven Begin to repent. Begin to change. Because the spirit of God is going to Yes, you have a Hallelujah. Accept the people who remind you. You say, Why has the person who remind you? Why has this person reminded Hallelujah. me? Hallelujah. And take it as an important thing. I want to thank God for the words that we have shared about the way God's communication is. Right. Next time we come back, I want you to prepare yourself. Because 
I'm going to teach on how God God speaks to us through our characters or our ways. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Or the, the character, the way we behave, or the, our intentions. You know those ways, you know how that God is speaking. You begin to show who is the right Christian and who is the wrong Christian. Praise the Lord. Because even our ways or our characters, they speak. The way we do things, speak. even our intentions speak. God passes through them to speak. To show, to show people who you are. Who you are. Praise the Lord Jesus. The people watching and listening, if you have a question, please you can go and put them on our Facebook, on our YouTube, and we shall be able to reply them. And whoever wants to call me direct on phone, it is zero seven five two. Zero six ten six one zero Satu Mukaga three six eight. Jidam. I'm repeating the number. It is zero Musam Tan of Bidi. It is zero seven five two Mukaga Mu zero six one zero Satu Mukaga Monana three six eight. Atea MTN the MTN line. It is zero Musambu Munana Bidi. It is zero seven eight two. Nazidi Zidi Zozo Tekako. And using the same numbers that I have given. It is zero Musambu Munana Bidi. It is zero seven eight two. Mokaga E Mu zero. Six one zero. Satu Mokaga Munana. Three six eight. Mukama Vampero Muksa. The Lord bless you. Katugenda Kusaba. We are going to pray. Mukama Munongi to Kweyanzi Zanyo. Our Lord, we want to thank you so much for giving us the grace to teach the Bible. Word. The Bible says in Zechariah that whoever despises the days of smoking, this is the way you have given, helped us to teach the people. We have not yet got the radio, yeah, and the TV. radio and the TV. But this one is better than the radio and the TV. The we cannot we cannot despise this small beginning. We just thank you. Lord. We pray for all the people who are listening and watching us. And we also pray for all the way of communication. The people that are owning them and what is running them. We pray that you touch them. Holy Spirit, we pray that you help them, that they may, they may have the better services as the Spirit of the Lord has that they may also know that the things that are evil and those that are good, that they may resist and refuse to put on evil things on, on the Facebook and YouTube, that you may bless them with the Lord we forgive them because we they do not know. We pray that you convict, e, them. convict them of sin, judgment, and Masu righteousness, that they may be transformed. Father, we pray for the people in Lom India. By the, the mighty hand you have put upon Usabobeko, them. We pray that, Lord, you raise some men and women that will hear your word. That they also enable them to read to come to Uganda. Uganda. And they are born again and they Uganda. know you. Uganda. They, they may be here and they know you. That they may come and we tell them what to do. That India may be helped. That your wrath may be rolled away. That they may throw away all the small gods and, and, and leave them completely. God, we thank you. We pray for our nation, Uganda. We pray for all our leaders and uh, all the kings, all the pastors and all the saints and everyone else that is listening to us. We pray that transformation will happen. Convict that person of the sin, judgment and righteousness and return them and forgive them that they may change and serve the Lord because you are a chosen nation. Your name be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen.
I remain the servant of God by God's name. No, Musumba chosen award is Sarah. I'm going to do a fair. The interpreter. No, Uganda, for Kenya, Geoffrey, Monamauli. Now, Lord bless you so much.